Well, another game with Boise State, another tight one. You said yesterday that you wanted to squarely beat this team, and that's what they went out and did. Yeah, I mean, if it got another five minutes, they might have won. I mean, I just thought it was probably the hardest fought game that we've been in all year. And um, earlier in the season, you know, we might have caved in a little bit, but this team has grown so much. And so many guys that had very little impact early in the year really impacted this game. So it's kind of cool to see the growth. To be tied at halftime and then constantly back and forth, 17 lead changes in this one. What was the message to this team to keep them in it? You know, um, we know we can score. And they went on an 8-0 run, I think, in the second half. And we just, we, 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 we broke our defensive principles. We didn't stop penetration. Um, Basically, I was saying this is our four-on-four four shell, shell drill that we want to run every day, and 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 we're making a lot of mistakes, and you've got to you've got to correct those if you're going to beat this team. John Gillen out there playing with a lot of grit, a lot of heart. What did he bring to the table today? Well, he's played really well lately, and uh, he's a a great example of what we talked about from the beginning of the season to what he is now. He, he's grown leaps and bounds. He's always had a lot of talent, but I think his maturity level has, has, has just gone to the level that it needs to be at. So, you know, he's without him, you know, we, we struggle for sure.